Hi, I'm Crystal. I'm a cancer activist. I'm a social and business entrepreneur. I'm an author. But what I am, truly, and at the heart of everything I do, it's a patient. See, my family has navigated cancer each and every generation at increasingly younger ages. My mum was only 36 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer and a tumour in her ovaries in her 40s. My grandma was only 44, again at 53, and faced tongue cancer in her 70s. And my great-grandma was 68 when she died of breast cancer. I was told at 22 years of age that I was going to become the next generation of women in my family to be diagnosed with cancer. They handed me a piece of paper that literally defined my future. In that moment, I was determined that I wasn't going to have to go through the suffering and the heartache and the heartbreak that my family has gone through generation after generation. So at 25 years of age, with my two beautiful boys by my side and my husband, I surgically removed my breasts rather than became the next generation of cancer in my family. And by the age of 31, I had removed every piece of my body that put me at risk of cancer. You might think that I have everything together, but I'm telling you that was one of the hardest decisions of my life. But what really drove me forward was I needed to be a beacon of hope for my family. I wasn't going to let them watch me go through what they had generation after generation. When science gave me the opportunity to change my future and decide my own destiny. When I laid in my hospital bed at only 25 years of age and after I'd had my breast removed, I decided that I never wanted anyone else to go through what I went through. I can truly show you, and I have shown you, the power of advocacy. It is at the heart of every major milestone in the world, from policy to shaping social environments. Look at what's happening in the world. All it takes is sometimes one tweet to create a movement. For me, it's about turning advocacy into activism. I've been a part of leading industry game-changing campaigns. I have led policy change within the frameworks of Australian politics, where I saw genetic testing at such a high price that we did a two-day campaign that changed the price of genetic testing for the rest of the country. Well, since Angelina Jolie famously revealed she tested positive to a cancer-causing gene mutation, more people are undergoing genetic testing than ever before. Yeah, these life-saving tests are extremely expensive, but today, Pink Hope is launching a program making private genetic testing more affordable. And joining us to tell us more about the program is Pink Hope's founder, the fabulous Crystal Bart. <laughs>